Hi guys. So I got a little excited with some of the items and I forgot to tell you what they were. And unfortunately I've already recycled all of them or I would have refilmed this video. So I apologize if you're frustrated and you don't know what I'm talking about at times. Hi guys. Welcome back to what the sub. The last couple have been kind of dark and, um, I've been a little more upset about them. So hopefully this one I won't be quite as frustrated with. This is Glossy Box. It is $21 a month. And I'm just gonna kind of start with what I have and just go through them. Some of them might be limited edition and if I know that, I'll let you know. So this one, this is one of the older ones because of the cards used to fold out. There is the Yunani. X Illum or Ill Illuminate Milk Cleanser. I still haven't used that, like that's still sitting there. The MIT Makeup Lip and Cheek Tint. I have, dis I have discarded, I passed that along. The Mask Bar by Look Beauty. I just used this actually and spoiler, you're gonna hear about it in an upcoming empties anyway. It was not impressive. I was very disappointed with it. The, with this you're supposed to get like a mix of full size and sample size so yeah this is a De Del Dec Lior Neroli Hydrating Oil Serum I don't remember that at all um, and then the OGX this niacin caffeine and root stimulator spray I remember using it and just wanting to get through it so fast like just I'm done this can we just move on it was not my favorite glossy box this was the secret garden this was the first one i ever got i loved the packaging and that's why i wanted it it was a beautiful box with very custom de de designed a borges mascara i don't remember that must have been not great the rosewood reviving mist oh i did pass that along i was not a fan of that scent model co brow definer that was definitely passed along um, oh, and this has a sneak peek of the one that I just talked about. The Corez eyeshadow stick that was passed along. I did use this cleanser and vitamin C moisturizing serum, but I don't remember them being all that great. Like I was glad to finish them up. So like I used several of the things in here or tried, I tried to use like three of the six items and then I passed along half of them. All right, this one, what do we have? We have, oh, this antioxidant mask. I have a couple of those that I never finished, so that's still sitting in my collection. Uh, hydrating liquid lipstick from Gerard. I did, I think that's still in my collection, actually. It's a bright red. This, I did use this lycopene crema Rivino. I can't I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it but I did use that moisturizer up so you know that's three things that I kind of used. I did pass along this eyeshadow stick and I did use the shampoo but I don't remember anything about the shampoo these are gonna be from 2016 these first few so I might not remember that much unfortunately um this face scrub I used up I was not a fan of that face scrub the exfoliating body scrubber, I think I passed that along because I just decided I would never get around to using it. it did have a coupon that I never used. Illusion, I got more than one of those and I did pass one along and one's still sitting in my collection. This marine serum, I used a couple of them up. They were just fine, they weren't that great. And then I think I just passed this blush along not too long ago, Universal Beauty Cosmetics. And somehow I got blue on me and I don't know where the blue came from. This I think was the extra box that I got that was free. It was kind of pretty, very art deco design. This is a Sebastian Professional Whipped Cream. It was a conditioning style whip. Oh my gosh, I don't remember that at all. I remember the dark oil. It was very strongly scented and I did use it up. This little guy was funny, I used it. I still am not sure what I think of that set, to tell you the truth. The mascara was passed along, the nail polish was passed along, the lipstick was passed along, and these tan towels were passed along. So I tried two things and passed along everything else, which is part of the reason why I decided to um, 
get rid of this box and not keep it. I think I'm gonna keep this one. This was a limited edition, but this was the Carl Lagerfeld box. I think I'm gonna keep this insert out of all of them. It's only one page. So that's what it looks like. The lipstick, I still have the eyeliner. I think I did give the eyeliner away, but I do have this blush. It's it's fairly pretty. The same with the lip gloss and the lip liquid, no, the lip liner. And then there's this brush here. I, I keep, I'm keeping all of this, but more so because it's Karl Lagerfeld than any other reason. So yeah, that one I'm gonna keep and not just to scan it in. All right, we have this one that they switched to these larger, this larger format, and they're kind of, it's kind of interesting. All right, Estee Edit. This was an okay water, like an overnight mask. I did use that up. This, I really liked this pink gel coat. We got a full size of it, it was super expensive, but I really liked it. I think I finished it up or it's almost finished up. This rose perfume I really like too. This was an exclusive for the box, but I really, really liked it. Then we had some stuff from Schwarzkopf, which was shampoo and conditioner. Nah. Um, same with this. This was, you got um, either a cream blush, a gel eyeliner, or a powder, a lip liner, an eyebrow definer, or pencil. I feel like I got like the cream blush, from them and I wasn't too excited about it, but these two things right here, like this side, I really liked all of it and I've used all of them and some of them completely fully used them up. See, Glossy was really good at one point and then I feel like it went downhill and it just hasn't been exciting since. Um, and then we have this one. So these three were for sure. This Bang Beauty cream color, I think I just decluttered that. This brush, I definitely decluttered. And I loved this oil. I definitely used that oil up to the very last drop. Then we got two of the things here. This one is still in my hair collection. I still have that one. And this is still in my collection too. So I know these are the two that I got. So I haven't used those, but this one, oh, that was a full size that we got. So it was the cost of the box. I really like that. I would totally buy that in full size once I finish up all the other stuff I'm trying to use up. All right, we have here Lancome. I used up both of these. They were nice. I like Lancome skincare though. I used these up, the shampoo and conditioner. They're, they were fine. Nothing super exciting. This is still sitting in my collection. It is the... Um, Freeman charcoal mask, it's not my favorite. This is still sitting in my collection too. I need to decide if I wanna keep the Morgan Taylor nail polish or not. And this, I know I did declutter this um, glow illuminator. So actually this one was not too bad. I used these up. These are okay. It's just one that for sure left pretty recent, like pretty early on. This I think was a limited edition box. Yes, this was a limited edition box. So the limited edition boxes are a little bit more. This brush I use a lot. I actually use it to do setting powder. I still have this Butter London Sheer nail polish. It's kind of like a protector. This I did declutter this sunscreen. I threw it out because it was just weird. I didn't like it. Um, I think this is still sitting in my masks. This Laneige is still sitting in my masks. I used up this whole serum and I liked it from Manuku Doctor. It was um, nice. And I love this perfume, Paris et Moi. It was really good. This liquid lipstick, I was hoping I would like the color more. It was in Scandal, the Gen Nude, instead of one that was a little lighter. But that was actually a good box and I'm a little bit pickier about those boxes because I wanna make sure that I'm getting stuff that I really want. All right, so this box, we got the Tarte Brow Gel. I did use it. I don't remember like being super thrilled with it. It was fine. This green team primer, I passed along. I didn't like it. I passed along this shampoo and conditioner. They stunk. I hated the scent of them so much. They were awful. We got one of those, I passed that along because I just, I wasn't a big fan of the perfume bottles. They, they weren't super cute to me and they weren't something I was really excited about getting from Kat Von D. And then this lipstick, I love this lipstick. So these two for sure I used, um, but I have more than one of this Daydream and Lacaco and it's 
so nice. I really like it. Then we have this one. Oh, this is still sitting in my masks and I it's one that I keep going, I should use it and then I never get around to it. This stuff leaks everywhere. I have oil everywhere from this lip scrub and I need to, I need to get rid of it, but I want to use up more of it before I get rid of it. This Duché lip definer, it's still sitting in my collection because that's what happens. I did use up this shampoo and conditioner from John Masters. They were fine. And I passed along these tweezers because I have so many tweezers that I really, really like. Anyway, I'm out of frame. I'm sorry. Um, so this box was okay, but definitely like not my favorite which I feel like is kind of a recurring trend, which is part of the reason why I canceled Glossy Box, but I keep looking at Glossy Box going, do they have something good? Do they have something good? Because I was getting some nice things, like this one, full-size Tarte sunscreen. Yes, it was close to the expiration, but I still used it and it was nice. This Catrice palette, I think I still have, but I, this is one that I definitely should declutter. This, I, the, this, um, Concealer I need to use. This is one of my things that I'm working want to work on using. This was nice. This was the Figs and Roots Avance Plus Mattifying Emulsion Sheer. Um, it's kind of like a serum. I really liked that one. Press on Nails stickers. I passed those along. And then I got this Mary Kay Time Wise system, which was weird to get Mary Kay in a subscription box, but I did... I liked most of the skincare that I got in there. There wasn't anything that was like outstanding, but it was it was solid. Like I feel like this was a solid box that we got. And then it, it but it was so all over the place. And then they just started going downhill, I feel like too. All right, what do we have here? Um, this face brush I decluttered. This lip liner is probably still sitting in my lip liner. This cleansing balm I used up. It was not my favorite. I was not crazy about it. This, I did like this nail repair. This was in an empties this year um, from Vitri. I liked that. And then I re I think I passed this along. I didn't actually use it because it was a hair mask and I just never get around to hair masks. So not a great box overall. Like two things that I actually used and one that I liked out of that whole set. Um, okay, this was another limited edition. This was a Mother's Day box, so this was a little bit more. This pink, I still have it, but I think it's going to be decluttered because I just am not a big fan of NCLA. I wasn't sure about it, but I'm pretty sure now. The eyebrow pencil was passed along. This nude sticks, I do still have the nude sticks, I believe. The Shocker Boost, I don't remember this at all, to tell you the truth. I am currently using this, like trying to supplement in between moisturizers with this, and then I still do have this highlighter. I do like this highlighter. So I feel like this was a more solid box, but everything, again, was full size, and it was more expensive than that $21 a month. This box. A brow tamer from Pixie by Petra. I used this. The thing I didn't like about this was the clear thing. So you could see how gunky and gross it looked inside. Because when you're taming your brows, like if you've already put on powder or foundation, you're going to get little bits of that. It was not fun. This uh, Glossy Box Blush from Duché. I, I don't like this brand at all. I, am, I got rid of all of the blushes and stuff from them. And yeah. If I haven't gotten rid of these, they, they're they going to be going very soon. Bliss Body Butter, I don't think I've used that one, actually. I need to use that up. This was nice. This was the Rituals Body Wash. I've used up several of those over the years. I like them. Gel Eye Pads from Dr. Babar. I don't remember using those, to tell you the truth. And then this mascara was not a mascara that I really liked. Um, so that one's gone. So I did like a couple of the things, like three of them for sure that I used, but you know, that's a lot for sample sizes for $21 a month. Um, oh, this is very similar to what we just looked at. So I still have, I have one of these and I feel like I just talked about this as it was. This, I haven't decided if I like this, it's kind of like a sheer nail polish. It's weird. 
this cream color, I'm pretty sure I decluttered. I've been trying to declutter as many cream brushes as possible because I know other people like them. This was definitely passed along. This I'm using right now, this Talika, because the top seal on it, like when I was going through and trying to look at what was still had seals, even though this was still sealed, the top, the plastic seal was starting to um, come apart. So I'm using it up as fast as possible so that it doesn't dry out. I feel like this is upside down for some reason. Um, it's not, but it just felt like it. Clove and hollow, I think, hollow. I think I passed that along. I had this color right there. I don't remember having it. This I really like. I've used it up several of them. This is still sitting in my collection, this um, pasty scrub. I like this brush. I've been using this brush from Visante quite a bit. And then, oh, this is a nice scent. This is the Girl Squad Eau de Toilet from Jaffra. I do have that one. So this was actually a pretty good box. Full size, full size, you know, a couple of nice things there. So I feel like this was a good box, but I feel like this was an earlier box. Yeah, this is 2017 10. So this would have been October 2017. Um, I guess I could have looked at this. I just noticed that there's little dates on the back. Sorry, you're getting them just random order. Dr. Papa Balm, I used that one completely up. I liked that. This is still sitting, I need to use this, this Erin Beach Cream. It's kind of shimmery, and you can use it on your hair too, but I just haven't yet. La Roche-Posay Cleanser, I used that up. I don't remember anything about it. This Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner, they were fine, I used them up. This, I couldn't get to work. I don't know what's the word with it. Maybe you have to put, it says rub saturated pen tip. I don't know. Like, do you have to dip it in nail polish remover? I have no idea. And then this is the blush palette. Um, you got one blush and then you got to choose the next one. I was not a big fan of that. That's, I'm glad that, I'm glad that it's out of my collection. Let's see, this is, Nope, this, I think this was a regular box. I don't think this was a limited edition. It could have been a limited edition. This might have been a limited edition. This stuff I used up, this grooming balm from Riche. I liked that, that was nice. This face mask, I have not used at all. I decluttered this Laura Geller stick. It was very like oily kind of looking. Uh, makeup drop, got rid of that, did not keep that, did not keep this eyeliner, or I might still have this in my eyeliner collection, but this I really liked. I used that all up. That's completely gone. It was in an empties sometime this year. I don't remember when I finished it, but at some point. <sighs> I know. I'm, And I'll be done with this soon, so that's helpful. All right, we have dew drops. I don't remember that at all. I think, oh, it's an eye, sh eye cream. I have not used that. This, oh, I wondered where that rose face oil came from. It came from this box. I have not used it. I found it, I was like, where did this come from? A uh, hair serum, I think I used that one up. Buxom, I was not a fan of the Big Tease mascara. And then this lip gloss, I passed along too. So these, these two are still in my collection. This one might still be in my collection, but those two I definitely was not a fan of. This one, all right. And then they started doing these weird things where you would get one or the other. So I got this guy. I love mini perfume bottles, so I was happy about that. Um, even though I'm not the biggest fan of that scent. Gilchrist and Soames, I did not get that. I got this, this for feet sake. I wondered where I got that. There's a lot of things in here that I wondered where I got them from. Um, I did use that up, it was fine, it was nothing great. Duchesne, that was tossed. ColourPop, I've decluttered all of my ColourPop lip lippies. This was nice, the Brighten Up Enzymat Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. I got rid of, I've been using that, I've used up lots of those. And then I really liked this Mystery Shampoo and Conditioner they had us do us. Um, a thing on, but we never found out what it was. So yeah, not the best box that month. And the thing that I got was like a advertisement for them to test it out. This was, 
this was a regular box. Never mind, this was a regular box. All right, MGM Flow lipstick. I still have it. It's kind of gray. I, I don't really reach for it that much. I love this brush from Luxie. I use that one quite a bit. This Me 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 illuminator was tossed. This is still sitting in my mask, and this is still, these are, I think I might have used up these, actually, because they're $400 for 12 eye masks, and I was like, I'm going to use those eye masks, because that's ridiculous. So not too bad. I mean, these are just overpriced and ridiculous. I still have those. That lipstick probably is going to go when I get to it with my um, 30 and 30, it's probably going to go. All right, this was a holiday limited edition box. Let's see if I can find what's in it. This brow was passed along. I don't even remember it. I still have this truffle oil I need to use. I haven't figured out what to do with it. These are still sitting, waiting for me to use from Babar. I know they're super expensive and I need to use them. This was really pretty actually, this Bad, Bad Medina. It kind of reminds me of like the Papa Don't Peach blush, like it's that kind of thing, but for your lips. Um, that's still sitting in my eyeshadow singles because I never use single eyeshadows. Oh, and I liked this, I used this all up. This was a great um, serum from Figs and Rouge, Advance Plus Invisible Pores Night, Night Detox Serum. Really good, I liked that I used like I said, that's completely gone. Then we have this one. Oh, it's a little different. Uh, Perenza Schuler, Schuler, whatever. Arizona perfume. That's sitting, it's, it's going to stay because it's a mini. DHC deep cleansing oil. I've used that up, have a couple, used up a couple more since then. These, I gave away the conditioner, but I used the shampoo. Was not a fan of the shampoo. This Laret C stick was given away and then this moisturizer i did use up the tree hut moisturizer but like this was one of the more recent boxes before i canceled and just a lot of it it's not stuff that i would use so i didn't try to use it glossy holiday this i think was yeah this was a limited edition box as well i got it for this ceo serum so worth it for that Love that. Passed along the lip gloss, the lip balm from Glam Glow. Passed along the eyeshadow or eyeliner. Passed along this. Nest fragrances are nice, but I don't do bakery. They give me, they just make me feel kind of nauseated. So I passed that along. Passed along that. I did keep this, and I, I have that in for a giveaway. This little palette. But basically, I got it for this because it was way more than the cost of the box for that. And I've used that up. I've used up so many bottles of that stuff since that came out. I really like that. All right, what do we have? Oh, I just came across some of these things. So this first one is this primer. And I don't know how to get the stuff out of the primer. It's like a nail polish bottle without like an applicator. It's so weird. The scalp detox, detox was just all right. It wasn't great. I already talked about NCLA and how I feel. So I'm not really sure. This I still need to use. This is the Ren Beauty Shot. I'm not sure what to do with it. I need to like do a little research on it. I still have this in my eye sh um, creams. And then these, I have a few of these sitting in my um, sample bag that I just need to figure out what to do with because I haven't tried to use them. I don't really carry powder in my purse to blot and during the day. Oh my gosh, the dog next door is driving me nuts. Um, this little eyeshadow palette is in a giveaway pile. Aromatherapy resting cream was given away because I don't do well with those type of scents. This Gilcrest and Somes lotion, I think is in my lotion box, like one of my two lotion boxes because I have so many. Banana setting powder, I think I passed along. I don't think I'll ever get around to using them. This, I'm never going to use the eye, sh I already have eyelash curlers. And then this, I, this Carl Lagerfeld Nomatico, I used, I have that, that's in my collection, but like everything else I got rid of, which is not a good sign. Like that's not what you want to do. This was another limited edition. This one was another really good limited edition. That's the thing, like the limited editions are great, but some of the other ones just aren't. So they had Flower Bomb Soap from Victor and Rolf. I have not used that. 
Um, but I'm looking forward to using that. This Regenery Multi Glow, I really like this moisturizer, so I was excited to do that. I was hoping I would like this Mamond Beauty Water, but I didn't, so that was passed along. This Lip Brulee, I was hoping I would like too. I did not like it. It's from the Beauty Crop. So that was passed along. This Lauren B was pretty, but it was just such a light nail polish color. I wasn't going to use it, so I passed that along. The Invisible Apples, I passed along because I don't like them. I did use up all of these skin um, sheet masks. So for me, like the, the moisturizer really made, paid for the box because it was a $79 moisturizer. The soap and the sheet masks made it worth it. Not so much the other items which were passed along. I've passed along a lot of stuff and that's why I have like an entire filing cabinet drawer full of stuff to pass along or to do for giveaways. Um, and I need to do another giveaway here soon. Uh, this was really good. This Rituals body wash used it up. This I like, I've been, I have that still. Oh, this tells me what shade it is. I wonder, is that the same shade as in, hang on one second. Does it say rose pink? and rose beige that doesn't really help me very much i don't know which is which we got more than one of this evolution this is the second time i've seen it in this video laca and clouds lipstick and daydream that's the second time i got that lipstick too this felt like a lot of stuff like i'd already gotten this already gotten this so and then the la roche pose did not like these i um passed some of them along and then i used them as makeup wipes so like a lot of repeats and that was one of the reasons why I was like you know what it's time for glossy box to kind of go because they're starting to send repeats and for $21 a month you don't want repeats effect cosmetics I have not tried this setting powder we'll say that have not tried this makeup remover um, NCLA or cuticle cream and mermaid tears that's something that I want to try it's it needs to be next this um, Hairspray is still sitting in my collection. This detangler I did use up, I think. Yeah, it's just like a regular um, conditioner. I used that one up. And then I still have this in the pink. That's that's one of my next lips products to use in the evening. So like a lot of this I haven't even tried, but they were all pretty small sizes, I guess. Um. And then this one, I have one more after this. This Cover FX, I wondered where I got that pencil concealer. I need to use that up. That's one of the next things to use up. Same thing with this um, Figs and Rouge primer. I need to try to use that one up. It's in my stack of um, primers. The 3-in-1 Leave-In Lotion, that is... I think I used that one up actually. So that one's got gone. The eye pencil from Dubure. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Um, that is been decluttered. The nail polish. I still have it, but I haven't decided if I want to keep it or not. And plus a glossy fave. So you got some random extra thing, which I don't, I didn't mark down. Last, last one. Why do I have two of this one? This is the exact same. So they sent me, oh, that's right. The one random month, they sent me two of the same box, had everything exactly the same. And they were all the extras that we had already gotten. So that was part of like one of the last straws was getting those weird things that I had already gotten, things that they double sent you a box for no reason. I mean, that's not bad per se, but I just feel like it went downhill. Like some boxes were really good. Like when you got a perfume in it, a full size perfume and a few of them, it just felt all over the place. Have you gotten glossy box? What were your thoughts on glossy box? Do you feel it's gotten better um, in the past year or not? Cause it's been a year since I've gotten any boxes. I got it for about two years before that. Hence all of these. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for sitting through this and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.